Not surprised, but angry. The justice system's flawed and my attacker shouldn't have been bailed multiple times, so this could have been prevented if they'd done their jobs right. In 2021, Danny Hodgson's teenage attacker was on bail when he assaulted the young soccer star. The teenager was sentenced to three years and eight months in juvenile detention, but released on parole after half that time, something Danny says hardly represents justice. There's no future for me, to be honest. It's just sitting watching the, the world go by. I can't do anything that a normal person can do. I can't brush my teeth, I can't feed myself, I can't make a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. Yeah. Um, I just need 24-hour care from Jess, which is a burden on her as well. The person who put him there has been arrested again, accused of punching a woman in a Geraldton bottle shop. Well, I'm very relieved he's back behind bars. He should never have been, uh, in my view, uh, out in the community at, at that stage. The Attorney General confirming police opposed parole. Does anything need to change with the parole board's processes or are you satisfied with how they're operating? I'm reserving my judgement on that until I look at these two cases. That second case under review is the murder of Georgia Lyle at the hands of her former partner while he was on parole. The Attorney General says the most recent alleged assault by Danny Hodgson's attacker appears similar to a previous offence he committed at a bottle shop here in Perth. The short 22 months that he spent in Bankshire Hill taught him nothing, has given no deterrence whatsoever. This is a dangerous, violent young man. I'm serving a life sentence, and to be honest, he is invincible and he knows he is. The now 19-year-old remains in custody. James Carmody, ABC News.